Hello, welcome back to the Roha. There's no reason to do no beauty of your love. Hey, look so do this stuff. Huh? It's going alright? Feeling good? Feeling good? Well, I'm hungover, but still I'm feeling good. It's November. It's no shave November, so I'm not going to shave. I already got a little, little action going after a day, a couple days in. Um, yeah, no. So the, I guess the speech contest, I did pretty good. Um, I got the Tokubetsu show. Tokubetsu show. Which means a special award. Um, it was awarded to me by the honorable president of the local newspaper, the Ryomo Shimbun. And I'm in the newspaper, actually. I'm in the Ryomo Shimbun. Let me grab it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm so I'm in the newspaper. I highlighted the article and stuff. Can you see me? Right there. Uh, there we go. Ta -da! That's me. I haven't highlighted where my head is, but yeah. So that's cool. And actually, I there's a lot of Chinese people, a couple Mongolians, a Korean girl. Um, but yeah, mostly Chinese people. And they were kicking some ass. There was some ass kicking going on there. Ah, I was real nervous. I mean, I memorized my speech, but uh, it's okay. It was, it worked out, and I got like a hundred dollars and gift certificates to, uh, to like not libraries, but like bookstores. So I got a hundred bucks to spend on books and stuff. It was good. Here's a picture of me up on stage. So honorable. That jacket's too small for me, though. I think. But yeah. So yeah, it was cool. Good, good experience for me. Felt great. Um, recent news: Iron Chef is back. You better just step back. Iron Chef is back, and it's the best. Um, well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. I'm watching Iron Chef. It's on Fridays on Fuji Tedebi at eight o'clock. It's pretty fantastic. They had a two-hour opener two weeks ago for the first episode. It was amazing. Um, this Roksobro Michiba, who's classic Iron Chef ja Japanese, he made a suggestion because there's three Iron Chefs and there's a fourth Iron Chef, and basically whoever wins, I think, will be the new Iron Chef. And so Roksobro Michiba suggested somebody, and he foolishly chose the new Iron Chef friends, which is a big mistake, and French dominated, stepped on his nuts, man. And then Chen Kenichi brought out, who's Iron Chef Chinese, he brought out his son. He nominated his son, who challenged Iron Chef Chinese current, and they had a oh, the pork battle. Unbelievable. But it was a close battle, but Iron Chef Chinese held it down. And then Friday, last week, there was a, some guy from Iwate Prefecture, and he challenged Iron Chef Japanese in a lobster battle and unfortunately Iron Chef Japanese got he got crushed he got stepped on it, it looked like he was nervous I don't know I don't know what to make of it so I don't know what's going to happen next week but there's going to be another Iron Chef and uh, actually yeah so that was cool good weekend I'm so beat was yesterday I went on a date um, it was good we went and saw a movie I saw Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, which was an awesome movie. It was super cool. Really violent. If you don't like gore and blood and dead vampires, then I wouldn't go see it. But uh, it was fantastic, for sure. So I saw that, and then we got some coffee, did some Pudi Kuda, you know, all the cutesy stuff. But it was great. It was really good. A lot of fun. And then that night, I met up with Honorable Tomodachi's. We got blasted. We got blasted, man. So yeah, I'm I'm beat today. I went went to get got some kaiten sushi, and I, I went on a, another date. 
but this time it was an, an older lady I used to work with her but and she's like oh let's go to the temple I want to I want to see something at the temple and I was like all right sure so there's actually a kick-ass it's a chrysanthemum show there it was a kind of like a flower show but with only chrysanthemums and the cool thing about chrysanthemums apparently is that from one stalk they can like split off in billions so like there are these there are these plants which was one chrysanthemum and it was split into a thousand like blooming flowers like separate flowers from like one stalk which is pretty kick-ass and oh man there were some epic epic bonsai trees like chrysanthemum bonsais and I started talking, and I was like, yeah, I love bonsai. And she's like, oh, that's cool, bonsai. And then we we bought some. So I have, I currently have a chrysanthemum. This is it. It's just a little guy. Just barely, just barely growing. But, well, I mean, it, I just got it. I need to figure out how to care for it. My, my luck with bonsai is, is not good. So I was going to say that. So I really am hoping that I can make this happen. But they were like those really kick-ass bonsai trees, which are like on a rock. You know how it's like on a rock and then the, the roots grow down into the dirt? It's life-changing, man. I love it. It's like miniature world. And I'm going to try it. I'm gonna, I'm, they said that doing the rock thing was difficult. It was too difficult for rookies to do. And, I, and I'm sure they're right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. And she bought one, too, and she's going to try doing a little bonsai. So we'll see what we get going on. I'm, I'm excited. I told myself two years ago when I got here, I told myself, oh, I'm going to do bonsai when I get here. I'm going to do a bonsai. And I never did. Like a loser. I don't know what I was worried about, but I'm I'm doing it. I said, forget it. 300 yen, three ching chong points for a, a bonsai tree. Let's do it. Chrysanthemums it seems like kind of a wimpy flower, but I don't care. It's gonna be cool. We grow a kick-ass bonsai tree. We're gonna dominate everybody. Maybe that's the wrong approach to take. I just hope it doesn't die in a couple months. It's gonna be winter. I, I just need to look and see. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm look it up after this. Yes, the Roja was a video blog. Doing it. Look at that. I made a blog. I tried to do in a hangout because I want to I want to watch Iron Chef on the air, and I want it to be recorded on YouTube. But apparently, there's a strike on my account for some music I used. It's so dumb. Why can't you just like use music? I don't know. I and I don't want to delete the video because it, it's really kick ass. Because it's a video of the Wine Fest and which is coming up soon. Thanksgiving's coming up soon. The wine festival's coming up soon. It's going to be awesome. So I actually I need to look that up too. I look up crap. I'm all hungover. I'm trying to get my face off last night. But, yeah. Chilling. Things going all right. D&D's going great. Oh, it's so good. We only meet like once every, once or twice a month, which is, it's killing every week. I'm going to play all the time. I'm going to play right now. Hung over, but I still play right now. Yep. So, that's about the... Ah, and tonight, I'm making pho. I, I don't... It's not going to be authentic pho, but I think... I don't know what to think. One of my friends posted on Facebook. He posted a thing like, oh, these are 20 soups you got to eat, and they're easy to make. And luckily for me, I live in the middle of Chong Paradise, so I can get all these, like, exotic ingredients, like, at the local supermarket. Booyah. No international aisle. Oh, I did have to go to the international aisle. It's Chinese. But, yes, I'm going to try and make pho tonight. We will see what happens. Wishing, hoping for the best. Yep. So, uh, semi-short vlog. Only ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes is short these days. So, um, I wish all the men in the internet a happy No Shave November. If you shave in November, you are either employed or are a bitch. 
And for all the ladies out there, you can shave. It's cool. It's a guy thing. Unless you don't want to shave your legs. It's, it's, it's on you. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the vlog. Bye.